Chase. I'm gonna give you a little decorating tip, a little how to display your uh, um, costume stuff. One way that I display my costumes and wardrobes and screen use pieces is I display them dress forms. How do you display them dress forms? Well, what I'll do is I'll buy the dress form online. I get them online because I get them for $35 online. Really good deal. Because if you go buy this in Hobby Lobby, they sell these in Hobby Lobby. If you, go, if you can find them in Hobby Lobby. Some of them in Hobby Lobby don't have these in stock all the time. They're kind of like a furniture item. They consider them a furniture item. So you have to, you have to be selective where you go to find it. But if you go to one and find one, they're like $50 to $70 each store. Well, I go online to eBay and buy them for 35 I have a website that I trust now that I bought in almost every one that I have in my collection. And I bought them. Well, the collection you're seeing over here is the Deal or No Deal dress, dresses from the case model. And this mannequin I got just recently on eBay for $35. They are foam. So I can take safety pins and little sewing pins, little tiny pins, some that won't, won't really damage the item, and put it through and display. And they're all, they, it's a dress form. A dress form means it does not have a hole in, in it to fit a pant. So if you want that, you're going to have to pay a more premium price to get that about 60 to $70 for one of those kind of mannequins for female. And this is the back of it. And then I'm going to try to see if I can show you the, the bottom. The bottom just has one single, one single hole. And what that means is, when it just has one single hole, that means it's just for dresses. For, these are mainly known for sewing. People buy them, people buy one and have it in their house as they're a sewer. Well, I use them for displays. They work really well. They're a reasonable price. They look nice. They look high dollar. People come in and say, you must spend hundreds of dollars on these mannequins. I'm like, no. And so... This is just a really inexpensive way to do mannequins and display pieces. Now, the now if you if you're into male wardrobe pieces and costumes and props, screen use items for 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 men, those are expensive. They only make like one kind because not a lot of people are looking out there for man mannequins. So those will run you around seventy to eighty dollars for one of those. But those, but the, when you buy that, that does have two holes in it, so you can use it for pants or you can use it for the center piece if you're just putting a shirt on it or you're just putting something that doesn't need pants or shorts or something like that. Um. So, and these are white. They're wood on top, metal metal post and then it has a wood bottom and you just screw the little piece on put the put the pole through the hole and tighten it down just be careful don't tighten it down too much because it will strip it and then it will come loose over time but you can't beat these for 35 dollars i only have one of the black ones that's my very first one i bought the rest of them are all white but i enjoyed every one i have in my house they've lasted a long time because I don't move my props around, so if I was using these as like a like a, a mannequin that I took to like trade shows and stuff, I would buy the higher end ones. These would not be the ones I buy. But for home use and displaying stuff, they work great. So I just wanted to come to you and give you a little tip on how I display all my costumes. People ask me how do I display all my costumes. This is how I do it. So this is just a quick video on how I display my costumes. This was TV show Chase. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can notify of any new videos that get uploaded. Once again, this was TV show Chase. Peace out.